good. How's everyone doing? Happy December. Who's excited for Christmas? Oh, I said me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Aaron's daughter, Aubrey, totally is supposed to be in bed. And I said, who's ready for Christmas? And she peeks down the stairs and says, me. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and screen share. All right, I'm going to go ahead over some announcements real quick. If you guys aren't aware, our team is kicking major butt here. I think this is the most um, top producers we've ever had, which is really, really exciting. And I know we had an amazing week. Most, most of you have an amazing week. If you're just getting started and you're new to the business, you may not see that huge jump um, with the new hammer and chisel that came out. But most people who have been in the business a little bit and who's growing a team had a huge jump in volume and has had their best week with volume and with their paychecks. So this is really exciting. I just want to congratulate everyone. But um, I'm just going to go over some top producers here. We have Regan Long at 746. We have Briar Willis at 674. We have Michael Gowan at 646. We have Cheyenne Barton at 645. Kyle Blinka, a.k.a. Megan Blinka, at 574. <laughs> uh, Sarah Griffith at 499. Alicia Smith at 495. Aaron at 481, Jennifer Conlin at 468. Am I too loud? Huh. Are you sure? Yeah, she's just crazy. Okay. Cheryl, she's like me. Cheryl Isola at 458, Maya Miller at 436, Christy Soltz at 374, Melissa Gosper at 368, Melissa Brown at 360, Vanessa McLaughlin at 359, uh, Shuler McLaughlin at 327, Megan Blinka at 323, Jackie Harmon at 314, Erica Sisson at 308, Sarah Johnson at 306, Elizabeth Corson at 300, and Brittany Albert at 300. And then we have our newest rank advancements. Our new emeralds are April Richardson, which I did not get to put her on here, but I wanted to give her a huge shout out. And then also Kara Curtis and Jackie Harmon. Congrats, guys. All right, next we have our Success Club. And since it's the very beginning of the month, not a lot of people are at Success Club. There, there are, there's a few, not a lot. So I'm going to go over everyone who hit Success Club 5 and 10 last month because last month was an extremely hard month. And I just want to shout out everyone who made it onto the leaderboards. So we have Carrie Blasco. I know who is a rock star like her coach, Erin, at 24 success club points. And she's pretty new into the business. How many months have she been in it? Two and a half, Two and a half months. And she has success yeah. club 24. So huge congrats, Carrie. And then we have Regan Long at 22. We have Megan Blinka at 17. Melissa Chavez at 13. Brian Schaefer at 13. Kayla Mays at 12. Briar Willis at 12. Cheyenne Barton at 11. Misty Valentine at 10. Stephanie Plumley at 10. Michelle Brandt at 10. Holly Whitworth at 10. Kyle Blinka at 10. So really, Megan had 27. I just wanted to shout her out for that because um, it's pretty amazing. Um, Natisha George at 10. Janine Pudlinski at 8. Samantha Malik at 8, Maya Miller at 8, Erica Sisson at 8, Kaylee Hearth at 8, Amanda Stossel at 8, Amanda Holes at 8, Megan DiMariano at 8, Justine Matzak at 8, Sarah Griffith at 8, Michael Gowan at 7, Aaron Trail at 6, Beth Bird at 6, Michelle Kilcoin. Yeah, I think that's it. At six, Cheryl Isola at six, Lindsay Callis at six, Vanessa McLaughlin at six, Stacy Piazza at six, Michelle Krill at six, Sarah Dreiss at six, Jill Cleek at six, Stephanie Quigley at six, Cassidy Koch at six, Tabitha Smithers at six, Kim Carr at six, Jackie Snell at six, 
who just had a baby, Whitney Lloyd at six, Janice Edens at six, Kim Clydens at six, Kim O'Keefe, I see you, congratulations, at five, uh, Jade Emhoff at five, Terry Long at five, Sarah Marker at five, Melissa Gosper at five, Alicia Smith at five, and Lauren Penrose at five. So congratulations, and I know a lot of these coaches literally were working until the very, very last hour of November and still made it happen. So it is not impossible. You can start at zero and get anywhere you want in one day if it's something that is important to you. And you work hard for it, really, really, really hard, and just don't give up. All right, and if you guys aren't from our, from familiar, I can't, I can't talk today, <laughs> with Success Club, um, especially for the new coaches here. Success Club means that you're changing lives. So when you have a certain amount of Success Club points, five or ten, which is the, the ones that I shouted everyone out for, Beachbody recognizes you. So how you get the points is by challenge packs in Shakeology and Home Direct. When someone purchases a challenge pack off of you, you get two points. And then um, if someone gets a Shakeology and Home Direct order, that means you get one point. So if you want to grow your business, it is your job to start making Success Club 5 minimum non-negotiable. If you're wanting to really build your business even more, Success Club 10 should be non-negotiable for you. Um, but one thing that's great about it is Beachbody actually gives you free leads whenever you hit these markers in your business. So when you hit Success Club 5, Beachbody will give you free customer leads. So if someone signs up with a free account and they don't have a coach, you can be assigned as their coach. And then you can reach out to them and hopefully help them and get them in a challenge group. And Success Club 10 is even more exciting because that's a Success Club lead. So if someone purchases something off of the site, a lot of people do not have a coach that they know. So you can be assigned their coach and then you can get credit for that. All right. Oh, I did really bad on this. I was rushing, as you could tell. <laughs> All right. We have some monthly promotions. I'm not sure if you guys saw, but the 21 Day Fix and 21 Day Fix Extreme is still on sale for $140 in the challenge pack until the 7th of December. Um, so if you have a couple people who you know, are tight with money and they want something quick, this is a great opportunity to um, promote the 21 day fix extreme or 21 day fix. And then as you guys know, we have the new hammer and chisel that came out. Has anyone tried it yet? Yeah. Um, it's amazing. I did the one today and I am so sore. It was one of Sigi's. It was awesome though. But just prepping for what we have to come with the test group. So hammer and chisel, $160 for the challenge pack, and the kickstart that includes a three-day refresh is on sale for $180. So this is just going to be for this month. Um, savings is $70, so this is a great um, sale promotion to offer people. And let me see here. All right. And then just a little bit more on hammer and chisel. I'm sure you guys have gotten the information on it. If you're not sure, look at the FAQs 3295. Um, it's going to be a 60-day program. And what's really cool is I looked at the plan. After the 60 days, you can actually break it down into a 30-day hammer or a 30-day chisel. So that's really, really awesome. It's just like an extra level beyond you know, that 60 days so people can continue. But the workouts are 30 to 40 minutes long. So for people who don't have a lot of time, that's still not bad at all. All right, and then we do have the hammer and chisel test group starting on December 14th. Um, this is my test group that I have with our team. If anyone wants in a test group, um, this is gonna be for challengers and coaches. But the coaches, we are going to start on the 7th, which is Monday. That way we can get a head start and we can prepare ourselves and know how we can help our customers and challengers. And then the actual test group is going to start on December 14th. And then also December 30th, this is just a little advanced notice. Um, we are going to have our two-hour live Beachbody coaching event. So we did it this past month, and it worked out really, really well. I liked it a lot more than the um, five-day sneak peek just because 
it doesn't last as long and people kind of fall off after three days. So this is a perfect opportunity just to take two hours and get people involved. And I will have it open for about a week. That way if people are working or they have something going on, they'll at least still be able to get the recordings. And then you can go in the event and tag people in them and just do video one, video two, video three um, until they get through all of them. All right, cool. Does anyone have any questions? No. Okay, cool. So I wanted to talk to you guys just a little bit about the month of December and a couple other things. So this, like I said, last month was a little bit difficult. Hold on one sec, sorry. What if you get a CF5 yeah, on the last day? Do you still get the free leads? Yes. Yes, you do. And you'll get them for that next month. Yes, the top producers. So, oh, the top producers is your personal volume and your customer orders. Your team volume is strictly your coaches and their customers and coaches. And then your, the top producers is PV. That's your personal volume, anything that you purchase and your customer orders. Thank you for making that. Call. Someone has some exciting dogs. <laughs> All right, cool. So the month of, November was a little bit difficult. Does anyone agree? It almost seemed <laughs> it almost seemed like no matter how hard you worked, it was like struggling, struggling, struggling. And although there are some coaches who kicked some major butt, I mean, they did awesome and I am so proud of them. But I know that there are coaches who still worked their butt off and did not reach their goals. And I'm going to be really real with a lot of you, well, with all of you tonight, but in many ways. So for me personally, I usually don't struggle with hitting Success Club. It's something that just naturally happens. I've been in the business for three years now. So a lot of times I don't even have to invite a lot because you get to a point where you plant so many seeds that then you start to reap the reward. You start to see the benefits. And, and that's what I want to teach you guys is that's why you want to do your invites now because if you can do it now, you're going to be able to sit back a little bit and not have to kill yourself trying to invite all the time just to hit Success Club. So, you know, I usually don't have a problem. And then the last couple months, I've been struggling really, really bad with hitting Success Club. Um, so I ended up talking and inviting 150 people last month. And I did not hit Success Club 10 until the very last day of the month. It was a real struggle for me. I did it on the 11th hour and, and it was hard. So I know that there are coaches who are truly working their butts off. And just because you weren't on that leaderboard, I don't want you to think that I'm not recognizing you. If you are putting in the work and the effort, seriously, congratulations, because I promise you that work is going to pay off. And sometimes we have to really, really struggle before we get ahead and, you know, see the benefits. Um, but so let's talk about December. It's going to be a little bit hard again. I'm just forewarning you guys, but I don't want you to give up because there's a lot of potential and Beachbody set us up really, really well. Um, it's going to be hard because it's still the holidays. People are still thinking about presents. They're still thinking about junk food and Christmas cookies. Like Megan's probably making a lot of Christmas cookies right now. She's a cookie monster. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that you can't reach your goals. There are still tons of people out there who, who do want our help and who need our help. So what do we have to do? We just have to work a little harder than what we normally do to reach our goals. Um, it's going to be all about consistency with sharing your journey. And if you can just stay consistent, you're going to get there. You're planting those seeds now. Again, I promise you, as you plant those seeds, you are just putting a little bug in everyone's ear about what you're doing. So when that time comes or that one post that you do, they're going to see that and that's going to be that post that gets them and they say, okay, I'm ready. This is what I need to do. That was my sign. And a lot of people do that. They wait until they have a sign. Your post and you sharing your journey, that's a sign for them. So you have to be consistent with, with sharing that. Um, 
And like I said, you know, Beachbody really set us up in a good way because of hammer and chisel. Um, every time we have a hard month, a new program comes out. Beachbody knows what they're doing. They are not stupid. You know, they've been in business. We've had Beachbody since 1998. So this isn't their first rodeo. Um, they know the trend and they set us up so we can still be very successful. As I said, you know, November is usually the hardest month of the year by far. And it was one of the best months that we had because we're getting ourselves set up with the hammer and chisel and the 21 day fix and that was on sale. So now December is going to be a great month because of hammer and chisel coming out. So make sure that you guys are doing the program yourself. If you're able to, if you're, you know, ready to pop a baby out or, you know, you have a limitation with exercise. I, of course I don't want you to do it, but if you have the opportunity to do the program, do it. If you financially can't right now because of the holidays, Go on on demand and do it like you can still do it for free. Um, so promote it, talk about it, share what you're doing, because that's going to get spark people's interest and get them involved. And whether you're able to do the program or not, still share it and get them in a test group and promote that you have a challenge group going. And even if you don't specifically have one, feel free to join ours and we will definitely help with posting. Um, one thing that I am doing is I'm giving extra incentives this month just because I like gift giving and I know that it's difficult for people around the holidays who may not be as financially set as other people. Um, so I, I did do gift cards. I did $20 gift, $20 cash back, um, since black Friday just to help people out a little bit. And then I gave them the option that, you know, here's a gift card. You can use it for yourself or you can even give it away to someone else as a gift for Christmas. So that kind of helps them out financially. So this time I'm either going to do a $10 gift card back or a shaker cup. And you can actually get the shaker cups in the back office in bulk. They're like six for what? $7, nine. nine. It's like really cheap for six of them. So that's just another great incentive that you can do to promote the challenge pack. Um, does anyone have any other ideas of how you want to, how you can promote it to get people interested? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what I've been doing is I've been giving away a Challenger Kickstart kit. And so I included, I got really on Amazon for pretty cheap. I got some meal prep containers and um, Target had workout tanks on sale for $5. So I stocked off on some of those. And so I've just been giving them away as like little starter kits. I like it. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm thinking, um, I might do like a referral something this month and um, tell my customers or just post in general, you know, like if you refer a friend to me, um, you can have either a um, like a $20 gift card, fixate, or um, Jackie, what was the other one I said? Um, or oh, a blender, like one of those like little like blenders that's like little like one hundred blenders. Wait, the what ones? They're just like, they're $20. There's like a Black & Decker and it's like, you use the cup and you know what I mean? Yes. So so something like that. Serve things, yeah. Um, Karen, yeah. can you buy the fixate and bubble? No. That would be a really good idea if you could. They should do that. We should talk to corporate. <laughs> because honestly, like that gets really expensive. And then the shipping every time you want to buy a new one, the shipping's a pain in the butt. It bothers me a little bit, but yeah, that's a really good idea too. And the referrals is awesome. Don't be afraid to ask for referrals because how else does everyone figure things out? Like what a good movie is or a good restaurant. It's because someone goes to it or sees it and then they talk about it. So don't be afraid to ask people to talk about it. If they're in your challenge groups and they love the challenge groups and they love the products, they're going to talk about it and share with other people. So if you do an invite and you talk to someone and they say, no, I'm not interested, you can easily say, okay, no problem. Thank you. Anyways, if you know of anyone else, family or friends who might be interested, I would love for you to give them my name. And a lot of times that works really, really well. So, all right. So as I'm talking about 
December being a really tough month. Um, there's a lot of people that are struggling um, in a lot of different ways. People are struggling just getting through the holidays financially. People are struggling um, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, in so many different ways. And I want you to know that if you guys have a big enough why for what you're doing, you can come out of that struggle and just be so much further than you were. But you have to have a really good why of what you're doing here. You have to have good intentions. You have to have a purpose for what you're doing. Um, so I'm going to share something with you guys that I have not really talked about with anybody else except my personally sponsored coaches that I have been going through for mm, a little over a year now, but more so in the past four months. Um, but I am going through a divorce right now. And this has probably been the hardest time in my entire life. And I try really, really hard not to show it on Facebook because I just, I think there's a time and a place for it. And I don't want to seem like a Debbie Downer because, you know, we're here to lift people up all the time. So when I would talk about stuff like that, I, I don't know. I just, I really want to try to be positive on Facebook, but it's really, really, really hard at times, especially when you're going through something like this. And I don't want a pity party. I don't want anything like that. I just want to share with you guys that if you're struggling in any sort of way, you're not alone. I promise you. And, and that's why I'm actually here right now with Erin because she has helped me significantly. And, you know, that's one thing that I can say Beachbody has changed my life with in so many ways. You know, it just hasn't helped me physically. It hasn't given me just a transformation. Um, I have gotten the best friends out of this and people that I knew and never talked to in my life. And now, you know, I'm, I'm sitting at Aaron's house because I just can't be at my house. I, I can't. It's hard. It's uncomfortable. I still live in the house that I'm not going to be living in in a couple months. And it's very, very difficult. And you guys will probably notice that I'm not at my house a lot. I travel. I go to my mom's. I go to my friend's house. Um, and I just try to make it happen. And another thing that's great about Beachbody is what it's helped me with is the freedom. Because if I was still working as an ER nurse, I would be stuck. I would be stuck and it would be hard. They, Beachbody has given me the financial freedom. I mean, I've given it to myself because I've worked my butt off, but Beachbody, you know, if it wasn't for Beachbody, I wouldn't have the opportunity to buy a new house. I wouldn't have the opportunity to save for my kids or to travel like two times a week, two and a half hours each way. It gets difficult, but I know that if I, if I didn't have Beachbody, I would be struggling even more. Um, so although you may be new into this business, and I'm sorry if I scare you by coming out, if this is your first call, <laughs> um, I'm glad I'm laughing. I'm really I'm glad, glad I'm laughing. I think I've gotten all of my cryouts today, so I'm good. <laughs> um, but what was I saying? If you're new to the business, don't if you're kind of scared. <laughs> <laughs> what was I saying? I don't know. What you're I don't know. If you're new to this business, you know, you may not see that financial freedom or, you know, these amazing things that has happened like I'm talking about. But that's what happens when you believe in the business and you believe in yourself and you have faith in the process. And you work your butt off because if you do, and you, like I said, that it goes back to that why and that purpose. So for me, it's my boys. I now have no choice. I have to work my business. And when you're left with nothing but to work as hard as you possibly can, you will make it work. And, and that's what's really cool about it is because it is working. And, you know, I'm struggling and there are. Today, I felt worthless. I felt like nobody. I felt like nothing. And it was really hard. But when I feel like that, I have found personal development. And I know a lot of you probably think, oh my gosh, she talks about that all the time. Seriously, it has saved me. It has saved me mentally. It has saved me spiritually, emotionally. Every time I get down, 
Joel Osteen is like my best friend. I actually want to meet him just to thank him for helping me get through this because I listen to him on almost a daily basis. If you guys don't know who Joel Osteen is, he's a pastor. He is on a podcast. So if you can download the podcast on your phone, the app, and just look him up, it's J-O-E-L-O-S-T-E-E-N. Um, he's amazing. And one, I was actually listening to him today. I listen to him like almost every day. Um, but today it was about continual, continual joy. I don't know if any of you guys have heard that one yet. It was so crazy because I came here to Aaron's house and I'm like, oh, I need to talk about this. Just be, like what I got from him. And I was listening to this personal development and it was continual joy. And she's like, oh my gosh, I listened to that today too. Like it's so, it's crazy and it's cool. And you know, it's nice when a lot of our teammates, you know, we have that in common that sometimes I hope all the time, just take, give it to God and, and let Jesus help us because honestly I need him the most right now. And he's here to help me. Like truly he is helping me in so many ways. So Joel is who I listen to. And he talked about the continual joy. And you know, when something is, when something bad is going on in your life, um, you have to find the joy that's inside you because although some people try to tear that away from you and take it down and bring you down, you still have that inside you. You just have to find it. And when something bad is going on, think about what good things are going on in your life. You know, corporate called me today. I have weekly calls with them. And I, she asked if I wanted to have a call. And I said, I, I was going to say no. Um, because I just wasn't ready for it. I, like I said, I've been whining like a baby all day long and, um, I still got on with her. And when she called me, she said, before you even say anything, I want you to tell me what's good going on in your life. And it's like, whenever something's bad, something bad is going on, just think about the good because although we do have a little bit of bad, you have so much better, so many more things that are good in your life than you do bad. Everyone always is in a worse situation than you. So like I said, when I'm talking about this, I don't want a pity party. I don't want anyone saying, I feel bad for you. Don't feel bad for me because there are so many people that have it worse than me. I'm just getting through it. I'm going to get through it. But I, I would not get through it if it wasn't for me listening to the personal development all the time. It has helped me so much. I have to find the joy. So I think about it. I have two beautiful little boys who are a pain in my butt and I love them so very, very much. Even though my three-year-old told me today for the first time he hated me. Other than that, I love them very, very much. <laughs> he didn't mean it. I don't think he even knew what he was talking about because he started laughing after he said it, but still hurt my feelings. <laughs> it was like a wrong day to say that to me, <laughs> um, especially for the first time. But you know, you just have to find the joy, find the good things are, that are going on in your life to take away the bad. And when someone tries to put you down or, you know, you have a friend who doesn't agree with what you're doing or a spouse that doesn't agree with what you're doing or any family members that don't agree with what you're doing, you think of why you're here and if it's important to you. And if it's important to you, then who the hell cares? Seriously, can I get an amen? Yep. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so that is really what I wanted to talk about. Honestly, that's all I want to talk about. This was so like not prepared, but I just wanted to share with you guys, you know, what I have going on and the struggles and we all have them, but we have to get through them. So whenever we're having these struggles, think about your business and how bad you want it. And I want you guys to start really, and I talked about this on my push to diamond call last night, but start really being intentional about every single thing that you're doing with your life, with your business, because if you're intentional about it, it's going to go a long way. You know, even the three vital behaviors, be intentional about your personal development. If I would just go through the motions with Joel Osteen, I would get nothing out of it. I wouldn't be where I am. I wouldn't have that positive mindset when things are going bad. So don't just listen to personal development to go through the motions or, you know, just to say that you did it, to listen to it, walk away, go do something else, multitask. When you're doing personal development, there should be no multitasking unless you do really, really like for me, I do like to work out and do personal development, 
but a lot of times I have to replay it because I want to take notes and I, you know, something I started to hear and then it went away because I was so focused on my exercise. But try not to multitask on it and get as much as you can out of it because it's there for a reason. It's vital for a reason. It will get you very far in your business. You know, with the invites, be intentional about your invites. Don't just invite someone thinking they're a success club point or a challenge pack sale. Think about them as a life that's going to be changed. Think about how you had your journey and how important it was for you to have that change and think about you impacting someone else's life like that because that's the bigger picture. And when you can be intentional like that, it's, it's going to change your life. It's going to change their life and it's going to help you in so many different ways. Yep. That's all I got. <laughs> a record for you it's the shortest call ever <laughs> I know is it the shortest call that's exciting all right so who wants to talk anybody can we open it up can someone say something come on what are we gonna do for the month of December to kick some arse <laughs> give it to me Kaylee I, I don't know I'm trying it's hard <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So who's planning on coming to Super Saturday in January? Awesome. I bought the tickets and have my room reserved already yesterday. So we're coming. I still need to book my room. I booked everything else. Yes. That is awesome. Wait, Ashley Roberts, did you raise your hand? I didn't, but I don't know yet. So I'm like, I'll kind of raise it because I want to come. I want to be there. So we'll see. All right. You have to come. I want to. I want to. I don't know if we're going to be out of town or not. If we're not, then there's a possibility I may be there. You're going to be out of town. You're going to be in Pittsburgh, PA. <laughs> <laughs> True. I'm trying to get Ashley to come from St. Louis. Fingers crossed. I mean, why not? It's the cool thing to do. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a life changer. Like, if you guys are new and you just started and you have no idea what I'm talking about, Super Saturday, um, please ask me or your offline coach about it because it is a game changer. It's like a mini summit and um, you will be inspired. You will be motivated. We actually have the CEO, Carl Dykler, coming. So we get to like meet him and we'll probably take a whole bunch of pictures yeah, we will take a whole bunch of pictures. If you're with me and Megan, you'll take a whole bunch of pictures. Yep. Wait, Megan, your coach from Canada is coming? What? Maybe two. I know one for sure. I have two, two new Canadians. I don't know if either of them are on. Wendy sometimes gets on this one. The one's right? coming with her husband. She already bought all the tickets and booked her hotel room. That is so exciting. Yeah, and Briar is driving up from North Carolina, from Raleigh. Briar, I saw you put your hand was raised. That is awesome. Like literally, I have, um, not I have, there's someone coming in from Texas, um, Mississippi. There's people coming in from everywhere. Like it's, it's big and it's inspiring. And, you know, if you guys didn't hear me, when I first started my business, it was my first Super Saturday in January that, that got me being intentional about my business. And it was just so awesome to see some of the top co like the top coaches in the business talk about their success. And at that time when I signed up, Melanie Mitro, who is our number one coach in, in the entire organization, and this is gonna be her second year, she's my cousin, she was a two star. I started. She was a two star diamond coach. And I was so inspired by her. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I could never see myself getting there. I could never see myself growing a team like that and being able to talk on stage. What's really cool about this is now I'm a 12 star and we have a team, but my coaches are talking on stage. Like that is freaking incredible. And I am so excited. By the way, Megan, do you have something to tell me? I don't think so. Are you talking on stage? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> Maybe you spilled the beans. I shouldn't say that. She, I mean, I knew it was a possibility. I haven't gone that far yet. Because I'm pretty sure you are. Oh. I think you are. What am I talking about? <laughs> I think you're talking at the Dream Team training. Okay. Okay, cool. 
congrats. Oh, you know what? There's a, we have a call tomorrow. Yeah. So maybe I would have found out then. <laughs> I don't know what this is all about. <laughs> maybe. It'll be awesome. And then we have Sarah Griffith, who is one of our other um, Star Diamond coaches, and she's going to be speaking as well. So it's going to be. He's definitely speaking. I know that. Yeah. But yeah, she definitely is. And it's just really cool to see how big our team is growing and how amazing, how amazing everyone is. And just, it's awesome. So I hope that you guys will see exactly what I saw when I went to my first Super Saturday and you really start being intentional about everything that you can do in your business because amazing things will happen out of it. I swear that's all I got for you. <laughs> how many times have I said that? Three. Three? Okay, cool. Does anybody have any questions? Can you define the casual black for Friday night? Um, no, but Megan can. Megan? Because I don't know that word again. Can you define? Okay. The, the, okay. So on Friday for the soup, it's a super Friday. Um, it's a blackout party, a blackout theme. Take it away, Megan. Yeah. So like just like the pens will do like blackout night or like the pirates do blackout night. So just everyone wear black. Um, you can make it as casual as black workout pants and a black tank top if you want. If you don't want to worry about changing, you can go with black heels and black pants and a black top and get glammed up. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's supposed to be like a laid back, um, chill, relaxed evening. Like not like last year it was all dressed up fancy and white this year. It's just going to be kind of a little bit more relaxed. So black is the only re like requirement that we're really giving. Um, I will not wear my, I will most likely not wear my workout clothes because I know that I will be up on stage at some point. So I'm not going to, but like, if you're, I mean, I would probably say, if I wasn't doing anything else with the planning of the event, I would probably just save the time and wear the workout clothes. Yeah. Then you don't know, change. Yeah, we'll about yeah. yeah, that's it. Just wear black. Well, think about how many people are going to be there and for you to have to find a bathroom to change in. Yeah. Routed. We actually talked to them. They're going to like build the temporary changing rooms. They had some last year. So like they're going to take a room and basically put partitions up. Okay. Um, so that there's places to change. That's awesome. But, and, then, and then we'll have the cafe latte. So that's, that's where the whole co coffee theme is coming from because we're going to, we're getting shipped like a thousand packets of cafe latte. You guys get to try it. Yay. So. Cool. And then Saturday is the dream team training. So, um, I, Megan, was it you that put the link up or did I put the link up for the dream team training? I don't remember who did I, th I don't know. I think I did. I put the dream team link up, but I'll put it up again if we need to. Um, and whoever asked about the caffeine, it doesn't have any more caffeine than chocolate does. So there's no coffee in cafe latte. It's just the, the flavor of coffee. Cool. And then we'll have the dream team training in the morning. And that is for anybody who wants to go and get more training. And that is also at the Omni. So everyone's staying at the Omni in Pittsburgh. And then after that, I am having a diamond lunch with all of our diamond coaches on the team. So everyone who is pushing for diamond, hello, keep working for it. And then in the evening, we are going to have Melanie's party. So it's, she's having a party for being number one in the company and it's going to be a really good time. You have to be Emerald or above to attend. So again, if you're striving for that, um, make sure you're pushing because it's going to be, Oh, dress code for the party dress, dress up. <laughs> Why are you doing that to me? Um, dress code for the party is dress up, dress, cute, dress. Little dress, little black dress. Right? Yep. Cool. All right, really, I'm done. Anyone else want to add anything? Nope. Okay. Thank you guys for getting on. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Start kicking the food day. All right. See ya.